welcome to this video in this video we are going to see how to create a clip using Creo parametric so in this video we are going to see how to create a path assembly okay so and uh, some sort of mechanism inside here okay so let's get into the video first of all let me just show you the part one so this is the part one okay so let's start up with the first sketch so this is my first sketch okay so uh, this is my profile but i don't have a, because i have a reference image here so let me show you the dimensions itself first of all draw a line with a length of 20 okay on the other hand draw a vertical line with a length of 55 okay so this line should be a height of 110 from the midpoint and towards the bottom a line will be uh, at least uh, uh, for your reference place a point here like somewhere like this and make that point distance as 130 from the midline okay so then after that like um, from this edge draw a slanted line and I need this like we need this angle to be an angle of 15 okay so after that you can able to draw this feature like this one okay so after like from here like draw an arc so like this is not a perfect dimension i have used the image reference so i'm just telling you how to do that okay okay so use this as a arc feature and draw uh, like a slanted line with your own reference okay so if you want like this to be a like some more um small you can like reduce the dimension here okay so make a profile like this whatever dimension you want you can also offset this line exactly or else like you can make it as a slanted right like a small distance here and like a broad here right you can do the same way also so after this i am just going to extrude this the extrude length will be 70 on both sides okay so the next profile is for connecting like these two parts we just have to create one circular part pin for inserting the pin right so for that i just have used the reference of the previous curve so place a point here so using that point uh, you can go with the center and end arc you can draw an arc like this or else draw a full circle okay after that you can able to manage that okay so then place a point in here okay at the end like at the distance of 20 so after placing this point i just want you to draw a center line here okay so the center line distance so that must be a perpendicular to this line you can see here perpendicular connection and then the, the distance of the center line from the midpoint it will be 45 so after placing the center point you can directly select this curve go for the mirror and using this center line you can mirror this on the other side okay so then go for the arc and make this as a center point or else you can select the three point tangent end arc here from here you can draw an arc so that will be a tangent position okay so then close this sketch okay once you close that sketch we can go for the extrude so extrude length that that will be the distance of six towards inside okay so now i'm just going to do um yeah so this sketch i just have created this for the reference but i don't want this anymore okay let me check whether any other parts have been highlighted by this okay and then just a minute guys let me just check it okay on the bottom so on the bottom i just want to make this as a circular part so for that either you can use round tool or else you can make one more sketch for that and and you can do that by your own okay so sketch on your top surface and then go for the sketch and go for the sketch view so here okay i think uh yeah that's fine so here um at the height of 35 place a point and then you can directly draw a full circle because this width will be a uh, 70 so midpoint that will be a 35 draw an off circle and close that sketch and go for the remove material okay that will be a fully remove material feature here you can see okay so after that some couple of rounds so let's see what are all the parts that i have rounded so the first round will be on the top it will be the round of 15 and the second round the same position on the other side that will be a round of 9 okay 
so then afterwards let's go for the next extrude so this is just for the like a design i have done that okay you can also follow that if you want okay so this is full of triangular surface like triangular sketches so the triangle height will be 2.5 okay and then uh or else like you can directly um draw a line like this okay let's go for the constructive mode as we don't have any reference line okay and i just want to make this distance as 2.5 like i said before okay after that we have to make sure this angle is 60 okay so then on the other side you have to uh, draw a line like this okay and make sure this angle is also 60 okay and so you have to do this for multiple times or else you can use the copy paste operation here okay or else you can extrude this one uh, and you can go for the pattern and also you can do that on the direction pattern okay so do this for a couple of times here you can see that i have done this close that sketch and once you go for the extrude you can directly use your remove material feature for that okay you can see here right okay after that the next sketch will be on the back design okay select the like a flat surface okay once you selected that go for the sketch so here i just have used the reference of the previous circle and try to draw a circle anyway um, I think I just have taken some offset value here. You can see the offset value is 0, sorry, 5. Okay, let me show you this distance also for your reference. You can see the reference is 5. So, um, directly select the loop option, go for the offset, the offset loop. And I think you can offset like this and then at the distance from the midpoint of 38 and draw a line, close the sketch and delete the other, other unwanted segments. And let's go for the extrude okay so here the extrude will be remove material feature at the depth of 3 okay so after that I have done something here so that will be uh, always for the design right so here it will be uh, a length of 2.5 up to the like top length will be 2.5 sorry the up to the reference the width will be 2.5 and the distance it will be 3.5 okay from each other it's uh, it consists of over 6 um stripes here okay so where the stripes have started is like you can see the circular part ended sharp at here so from here i just have started this feature okay so then extrude that up to the length of two sorry 2.5 okay <coughs> and then i just have added a chamfer feature here at the value of three i get d1 into d1 and then the next round feature is for the top here you can see i just have selected all the edges here if you want if you don't want to select single single as a separate separate time directly go for the edge and right click your mouse and then left click your mouse okay so once you right click you can see all the edges have been highlighted under the red color once you click your left click mouse so all the edges will be selected so round value will be 1.25 okay so then after that round i'm just going for the extrude again on the same top surface so the extrude sketch it will be a rectangle with the height of 50 and with the width of 30 okay so the distance will be 5 5 from the flat surface here okay okay so this will be remove material feature of 15 towards down and then the round feature for all these edges here like all these corners okay you can see whatever i have rounded here all the surface it consists of a round value of three okay so the next one is the next round is for the outer surface it will be a value of two let me class cancel this and the next sketch it will be creating a hole for this for a uh, assembly clip so for that select the like select this flat surface and go for the sketch so here i just want to draw a rectangle the height will be 6 but the length we don't want to fix the length so i just have used the reference from here to here it will be 15 here to here it will be 5 okay and like this will be a remove material so use remove material feature throughout feature here so it will be fully removed that you can see the hole okay so after that 
some more round at the edges here you can see a round value of three but uh, one side is enough for the round okay so on other side we will do some other feature so select the top surface again and go for the sketch so on this end draw a circle and uh, like the distance should be four from this corner and the diameter will be 10 okay so first of all we are going to uh, do this circle as a remove material feature okay sorry we have to extrude that and then we have to go for the remove material feature so the extrude length will be two from the surface okay so after that let's add some couple of round here it will be three and then on the top we will have some next round so i will uh, we will add that little bit later so before that we have one more sketch okay you have to see this okay so i just have created one more circle by using the previous center point with the radius of four but here that, that's not a fully completed circle first of all draw a fully completed circle by using this midpoint and then draw a line according to this line whenever it meets the surface of the circle delete the unwanted segments and complete the sketch okay like this and then this will be definitely the full remove material feature here so you can see here it will be fully removed here okay so after removing that you can go for the one more round feature here that will be a fully rounded surface that will be have a distance of uh, radius of one so after that yeah this is the one after that i just added some couple of designs here again so for that you can see the rectangle with the like a length of 28 and the height of 12 okay so uh, this is for my reference so i'm just going to take it away okay so these things you can add it by your own okay where, wherever you want to keep this you can be able to keep this so this distance is 14.5 okay so i'm not sure about this length okay so you have to you can place wherever you want okay here also you can able to place that okay this will be also a remove material feature um i don't know the depth exact depth value is two and i just added full round feature for this edges you can see the fully rounded with the value of radius one and whatever what's next is i just have mirrored one thing let's see what's that oh yeah this feature so just now i just have mirrored this on the other side okay so the next sketch is on this inner surface like select this inner surface and go for the sketch so here i have drawn a circle with the radius sorry the diameter of six by using a reference of the previous circle here and that will be a depth of two yeah two and mirror the same extrude on the other side okay i just have mirrored that on the other side so after that one more sketch is like i have to remove the materials here so for that we have to go sketch on this surface you can see here right so select this surface and then go for the sketch so here project this entire feature and draw a line up to the flat surface you can see here right so once you go for the reference and select this particular edge here and once you go back you can able to have a view on the reference here so use, using that reference you can stop this line and you can join these two lines okay so after completing your full sketch you can directly go for the extrude so the extrude it will be um, definitely it will have a two sides like side one it will be uh, like we can drag it up to whatever we want we will definitely we need this as a full remove material feature but on the side two when you are uh, sketching on this surface when i click on the zero oh yeah we, are, we don't want to uh, okay none so this is the output you will have right so you have to click for the blind again okay check the direction whether it is top or bottom switch that to bottom and enter the value as three okay so this is what we want it will be a remove material feature and after that what's okay okay good i think uh, this is what we have done and the next round feature is on this sharp edges so after cutting this entire thing here we have a sharp edge so we have to round that to a value of 10 so after that here i have done uh, an extruded surface okay 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 so here sorry wait 
so don't see the sketch i'm just explaining you here you can see this is fully extruded here so you can see on this end you can see the other end as an empty part so we just want this remove material feature up to this surface we don't want these cuts you can see the hole in here we don't want this holes so we have to adjust that so for that i'm going to select the this flat surface select this flat surface and go for the sketch once you go for the sketch you can directly project this line this line and project the circle and close the exact line here you can see this this bend in here right so this straight line so you have to close that line on that specific line here so after that you can once you completed your sketch you go for the extrude so the extrude length will be 15 you can see here up to that your reference let me you can see here from here like this so that will be 15 so after that we have to round here you can see the round option here on these two edges you can see the green line with the radius value of 3 okay so this is the first part I think uh, it will be really easy because it consists of fully extrudes mirrors sketch that's all easy easy right so um, what will be the second part second part will be the similar to this right similar part to this so what's the difference here okay so the second part we have to copy and we have to do everything same to this but except this one okay so you can see a sketch and extrude so once i think we can delete this okay once you delete this uh okay or else you won't don't want to delete this i'll tell you the other way let me open the second part that i have done this is my part two so everything is same you can see here the extrude is same so you can see on that part so i forgot to tell you how to open this part first of all um once you completed the part one save this file as a part one okay first of all save it normally in your uh, working directory as a part one so then for the part two go for the file again after saving the part go for the file again go to save as and save as a copy okay so after saving it as a copy close uh oh, sorry save it as a copy means you once you click on that you have to select you have to enter the new file name so you enter that file name as a part two so after saving that close both your parts and then go for the open again so now open your part two so once you open your part two anyway that that will be a copy geometry feature right right so you will have the same feature like this so consider this as your copy part so this will be your part two you have copied it from the part one right so now you have to select the extrude simply select the extrude so this will be six right so we need to like extrude from the six up to six right so that will be 12 okay so go for the blind on the other hand reduce that so that will be six so this will be zero up to six so anyway like from here till here the part will be on the first part so on the second part from the six to the six so do one more six right so that will be on the part two so this is right right if you click on okay okay we have a regeneration notification you can see what is the problem here is okay we have an error on the sketch okay 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 oh my god i think the edge is not updated okay no problem either you can copy up to this or else like uh let me have uh, one more idea here okay sorry i just have to okay whether we have to solve this yep okay okay no problem guys if you have this regeneration problem i think you will have a regeneration problem right here right so try to delete that that's all it's easy try to delete that and repeat these three steps again so that will be anyway this will be a time consumption right so you know why it is having a regeneration problem because of this round feature so this round feature from this surface to this surface on our previous thing when i click on control is it you can able to see here you can see the round feature is from this surface up to this surface 
but we have moved this surface to here so either we want to delete this round feature okay so not sorry it's not about this round i think this round feature either we can delete this round feature and we can do that okay i think that will work let me just uh, okay if we delete this round feature everything will be deleted okay better that we better go for the second option you can delete all these three and you have to copy that again okay easy that that will be easy right projection and the extrusion so after completing that once you move this on the other side you can also copy that on the other side okay by using the mirror so let me close this part one so this will be the output of the part two everything will be same the extrude length like i said before this will be six okay so that make that as a 12 and go for the slide side two and make that as a six that's all and then for the holes here you can see on the uh, we have done a hole with a diameter of same six at the depth of two but here we want to cut out entirely okay so that's the difference so once we done our part two let's close this okay so the part three will be the connecting rod connecting both parts right so for that let me just go for the sketch the diameter will be six okay and the extrude length that's what what we want so that will be 60 okay so how i measured this extrude length is let me just go for the part one again so here we have a part one so this is where our connecting rod will be so go for the analysis go for the measure if you are going to add something new you have to measure like this okay distance from this surface to uh, the surface you can see this is 62 but i have done the connecting rod with a value of 60 so i think that's wrong right so i have to change that so let me just make it as a value of 62 okay so i think now i have uh, error in my assembly let me open my assembly one more time so this is what the assembly looks like okay let me just uh, have a good view on here okay this will be clip I guess so okay this is the C rod uh, C rod will be the base part okay but oh yeah here you can see that I have made a mistake here okay let's see the placement details translation yeah so that's a problem that I have let it, let it be as a 2 and then what about the part one okay here you can see the uh, mistake here i think uh yeah because of this i've done a mistake okay good from the mistakes like we can able to learn right so i have to uh, make this i think there will be a coincident relationship why it is distance let me just remove Anyway, I'm just going to do the assembly one more time, but for me, it's need to be clear. Okay. Okay, that's good. Right now, it's correct. Okay, guys, just I just have made a mistake there. Okay, let me um save this one. Okay, model not generated, regenerated, save it. And zero. Once I'm just saving it, close this and uh, close one okay now we just come back again for the assembly okay so i think i hope you guys have understood about the part so now let's go for the assembly so sorry about that because i have done a mistake over there so once i have to verify myself because i have done this part in our live session so i can't i don't have any enough time for analyzing this part so that's why i just made a mistake okay so on the assembly first of all i'm just going to make this zero as a default okay so after this assembly i am just going to assemble our first part okay so this is so first part right either you can assemble our first part or else you can assemble our second part okay okay so here is our part right so let's go for the pin select our axis and uh, select this axis so here let's go for the face and let's go for the face either you can select the face or else we better you can select 
um that uh, sorry he forgot plane yeah you can select the face or plane okay so once our connection definition is complete we can just directly move on for the part two okay for the part two i'm just going to do the same pin so that will be uh, axis and move it like here and the same axis here so after that the surface okay what is this what about the translation yeah this one and okay yeah 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 i have assembled by using this c rod right so we have to select the surface of the c rod you can see uh, we can able to select the surface of the c rod or else so that's why i just have done previous in my previous assembly you can see that i have assembled the part 2 as a first okay no problem we have to select the surface or let it be uh, let me let me just check for the other ways okay so we can select the front plane of the c rod and we can select the center plane of this so now it will be definitely it will be a coincident feature and let me check whether there is any kind of crash over there no nope, nothing good on the top there is a gap either you can turn this here like this okay good so that's all our assembly is done but you know like there is uh, some missing missing option here so we have to create a clip model here so for that we have to use a top down feature okay so we are going to do the part inside the assembly so for that make a part and i'm just going to rename it as clip okay that's fine i have done previously empty okay and make it as an active part and here i am just going to um watch this yeah assembly front plane let's go for the sketch on the assembly front plane and here we have to make some references i'm going to take this as a vertical and uh, this right yeah so this is vertical and horizontal okay so once you created like this wait 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 i have to check that i have to check whether our part is fully placed or not wait wait i have to drag our part let's go for the front view so here you can see our part is not aligned correctly so we have to drag it according to that okay like this okay and like this okay now now we are good to go so now let's make this part as an active part and uh, let's go for the sketch on the assembly sorry assembly front plane go for the sketch and once you go for the sketch view you have to select the references okay i'm just going to select uh, top plane as a reference and right plane as a reference close that and go for the sketch view so here let me hide all these datums okay so let's go for the sectional view here okay so now i am just going to create a spline like this meeting the center of this point like this and uh, like this like this like this where is a gap uh, yeah here we have a gap right yep so until that we have to make this spline towards the top surface okay wait i think it's because this is our own dimension okay so it will take some time for me oh my god i've done this for the first time previously but i'm not i don't know why it, it's not coming okay now it's good you know because of this constraints i'm i got struck here okay now it's fine okay just copy this on the sorry mirror this on the other side and now we can create an arc like this that's all okay part is done so once you created this you can directly go for the sweep and uh, here you have to select the profile here okay and then go for the sketch here you can make it as a part so just want to make this as five or uh, let's go with small values of three yeah 
3 and you can see the clip has created and once you completed your sketch your sweep feature you can go and uh, save this part as a separate file okay if you want to okay so after completing this make this assembly as a uh, active part okay so that's all guys you can see that we have done this clip so for the appearances uh, forgive me i don't have enough time for the appearances um let me just open my previous assembly so that you can able to see the color of that okay so the appearances that will be uh fabric leather under the misc okay misc fabric you can see this is this is a fabric leather okay or else here also there is a fabric leather okay so that will be a brown here we have some different okay so um, other than this so this will be a metallic color okay okay so that's all guys i'll share this part okay so or else uh, if you have any doubt on the part one and part two i will attach the link on the below description so that that's not any external link that's our live link i've done uh, i've done this part in our live session okay you once go and watch that so why i am reposting this video is uh, on the live i don't have i don't use a micro microphone so that's why i just have put this on separate video okay or else if you have uh, if you need to analyze the part i'll provide the link for downloading the parts you can download that over our description link okay so thank you guys we will see in the next video with a very very interesting content until then bye